Welcome to the Smarter Quiz 2022, the Hindustan Times National Industry Quiz. Hello and a warm welcome to each and every one of you watching us and participating today. We are here for the North Zonal Knockout Rounds at Smarticus 2022, the Hindustan Times National Inter-School Quiz for Indian students from classes 5 through 12. Before we came to this juncture, we went through a rigorous selection round in which students from all over India participated in an online test to find out who would be the top 16 teams from each zone across India. Speaking of schools, let us take you to see the two schools lined up in front of us today to battle it out to become the champion in this knockout. Can we see the schools please? Is Gurukul Global School Chandigarh and facing them across the metaphorical table will be Sacred Heart Convent School also from Chandigarh. Before we go any further, let us take you to the three students from each school who will be representing their academy and trying to be champions today. We will go in the order of youngest to oldest. So the youngest person from each school will first unmute after I identify their school and they will tell us a little bit about themselves, their interests and what they like doing in life. We will begin with the school uh, number one, which is Gurukul Global School. So can the youngest member from Gurukul unmute and give us an introduction, please. Good morning, sir. My name is Danish Goel and I have been studying in this school since nursery. And right now I am in class 7th. My main focus towards life is becoming an astrophysicist. And in daily routine, I basically read books and sometimes even play video games with my brother. Uh, my name is Danish Goel. Uh, I am young. I am the elder brother of Danish Goel only, who is also participating in the uh, in this group. Uh, I am indulged in the field of research since past nine years, uh, okay. and have also written a book of my own. Good morning, everyone. I am Aris Tua, a student of Open Global School from Class Eleven. My hobbies are to play cricket and to go cycling, and also I like to listen to music and play video games. My dream is to be an entrepreneur. We will now quickly hop across uh, to their opponents from today. Also from Chandigarh, Sacred Heart Convent School. Can the youngest member please unmute and give us an introduction? My name is Anika Verma. I'm from Sacred Heart. I'm in class 8 and my hobbies include reading books and singing songs. I would like to be a surgeon when I grow up. My name is Ananya. I'm in 10th and okay. my hobbies include drawing and uh, writing and uh, I want to be a graphic designer when I grow up. So I'm Ashita and I study in class 10th. Okay. So uh, I'm a dancer. I've been learning Bharat Natyam for about five years okay. and I'm also interested in science and computers but I'm not really clear about my ambition yet. So nice. This is a very nicely balanced battle that we have today. An all girls team from Sacred Heart Convent School Chandigarh battling it out with an all boys team uh, from Gurukul Global School Chandigarh. It's the girls versus the boys today. I will ask Arush as team captain of Gurukul, will, what will be your call? Will it be heads or tails? The heads. Heads. Let me flip the coin. Heads is the call. Heads it is. And let's show you the gameplay or the rules for this battle. Here comes the grid of specialized topics and the mystery boxes. Danish Goel, can you unmute yourself and pick a topic from the grid for the first of your two questions? Demons. Demons. Religion. Demons are from the field of religion. It's a nice demonic way to start off the quiz. Can we take you to demons, please? The demon Hayagriv stole something from a sleeping Brahma and was killed by Vishnu in his Matsya avatar so that he could retrieve the stolen thing or things. What very important things were stolen in this story? And in the picture, you see uh, Vishnu handing those things back 
to Brahma after retrieving them. Your time begins now. You can see something in Vishnu's hands. Those were the stolen things. Yeah, pass. Pass. All right. Uh, we will go across to Arush as team captain. Arush, quickly unmute and tell me who is going to answer this. Sir Bhavansh. Bhavansh, unmute. Seven seconds left. What do you think is the answer? Uh, sir, the Ved. The Ved or the Vedas is very very nice. These were indeed the Vedas, uh, those foundational texts uh, of the Hindu religion, which teach us about a lot of things. The demons stole the Vedas and they were retrieved by Vishnu in his Matsya Avatar. So that's one point saved for your team. And we will go back uh, to Danish. Danish, your second question on demons is this. Which Avatar of Vishnu finally appeared to attack and kill the demon king Hiranyakashipu? And your time starts now. Sir Narsihi. Narsimha or Narsihi is very, very right. This is of course Narasimha, half man, half lion. And he had to take this avatar because Hiranyakashipu had a boon that he could not be killed by a man. He could not be killed by any animal. He could not be killed at night or during the day. He could not be killed inside a structure nor outside. He could not be killed on the ground or in the sky and a lot of other. So what Vishnu did was he became Narasimha which was neither man nor animal. It was half and half. He killed Hiranyakashipu at dusk or twilight, which is neither day nor night. He killed Hiranyakashipu by holding him on his thigh at the threshold of the palace. So it was neither on the ground nor in the air. It was neither outside nor inside. And in that way, he killed him by tearing open his body with his nails. So that is how Vishnu very smartly achieved the aim of ridding the earth of the demon king Hiranyakashipu. You have rid yourself of uh, this question and picked up two points. Let us go back to the grid and let us ask the girls from Sacred Heart Convent School. Uh, to begin with, we go to Anika. Anika, what topic would you like to pick? Sir, I would like to pick films. Films. So is that animated films? Movies? Yes, sir. Great. Anika Varma, the youngest member from Sacred Heart Convent School, the first of your questions on animated films is this. What is the name of the 1998 animated film where the title character disguises herself as a male warrior in an effort to save her father? There was a live action movie in 2020 which was remade starring Yife Liu in the title role. I just want the name of the movie. Your time begins now. So the answer is Mulan. The answer is Mulan. Sometimes these things cannot be predicted, cannot be planned. When we make these questions, we have no way of knowing that there will be a brilliant all-girls team. And this question about a brilliant female warrior will go to the youngest member of the team who will answer it with such confidence. Let's see the answer and let's see if you're going to get points for it. This is indeed Mulan. Two points, a good two points to start off the quiz for Sacred Heart. Let us quickly go and show you the second question on animated films on your screen now. Which 1940 release about a wooden puppet who dreams of becoming a real boy was the second animated feature film made by the Walt Disney Company? A remake was also released in 2022, earlier this year. Your time begins now. Sir, I pass to Ananya. You pass, all right. And you already, as team captain, you already chosen who's going to answer. Ananya, 15 seconds. Quickly unmute and tell me what is your guess for this? Sir, the answer is Pinocchio. Pinocchio. Let's see if that is the correct answer. It is indeed Pinocchio, the wooden puppet who was carved by the master toy maker Geppetto. And uh, he wanted to become a real boy. And there was also this very amusing uh, side story about how Whenever he used to lie, his wooden nose used to get longer and longer, which is what you see on screen. You are certainly not lying about this particular question. You get two points. And what that does is that both teams have scored the same number of points in this round. 
you all got one question right on the direct, which is two points, and both teams got one question right on the pass or the bonus, which is one point. Three points apiece to each team at the end of the specialized topics by the youngest member of that team. We will now go back to Gurukul Global School. The second person going to choose is the elder brother of the person who went first. Dhwanj, unmute yourself and choose a topic. So, sir, astronomy, celestial bodies. Astronomy, celestial bodies. And if I remember correctly, you're one of the people who's interested in science and uh, physics. Very nice. Bhavansh, the first of your questions on celestial bodies is this. Which constellation, which is one of the 12 signs of the zodiac in astrology also, is sometimes called the goat? And your time begins now. All the constellations are named after various living and inanimate things. Oh, sir, Aries. Aries, you say. Uh, well, Aries is uh, one of the uh, signs, but not the one we are looking for. We will quickly go and ask Arush, the team captain, who will be the person to answer this question. Sir Danish. Uh, sorry? Sir Danish. Danish. Danish, can you unmute and tell me your guess? This is no? We will pass and go across for the first steal of the day. Girls from Sacred Heart. Capricorn. Capricorn will pick you a point and very, very nice answering. One point to Sacred Heart. We will go back to Bhavansh for the second of his questions on celestial bodies coming up on screen now. Which very famous celestial body was last visible from Earth in 1986 and is next due to reappear in 2061? It is usually visible from Earth once every 75 to 79 years and your time begins now. Usually visible from Earth once every 75 years, 75, 79 years. Oh, sir, I would like to pass to Arush. It, Arush, who will be the person to answer? 15 seconds. Myself. I'm Okay, Sir, Arush, go ahead. English comment. We'll get you a point. Very, very nice. Let's show you the answer which uh, passes by Earth every 75 to 79 years. Very nice answering by the team captain from uh, Gurukul Global School. You save a point for your team. You get one point. It is now the turn of Ananya Gupta from Sacred Heart, who is the second person to choose a topic from her school. Ananya, can you unmute and choose a topic? Sir, I'll choose words with multiple meanings, literature. You will choose words with multiple meanings from the language and literature section. Let us show you your questions. The first of your questions, Ananya, coming up on screen now. What word can mean either rubbish, such as paper, cans and bottles, which are left lying in a public place, or it can also mean a group of animals born to the same mother during a single birth. Which word are we looking for? Last three seconds. Sir, may I answer? Yes, of course. It's your choice. The answer is litter. Litter will get you two points. Very, very nice answering right at the very end. Litter. A litter is also what we call a group of puppies or a group of uh, kittens or a group of animals that are born to the same mother in a single birth. So it is like if there are twins or triplets that are born uh, to a dog, then it's a litter of puppies, right? More than one is a litter. Very, very nice. Two points to you. Let us take you back to the second question on words with multiple meanings on your screen now. This four-letter word can mean either a mischievous sprite or a small vulcanized rubber disc that is used instead of a ball in ice hockey. This word is also the alternative name for a character in William Shakespeare's play, A Midsummer Night's Dream, whose real name was Robin Goodfellow. Which four-letter word has all these meanings? So the answer is puck. The answer is puck. That's very, very nice. That's a small circular disc that you see in front of you. Let's show you the answer. Is it indeed what we are looking for? 
It is a fuck. Very, very nice. Two points to you. You maximize your choice. Words with multiple meanings. Very good answering. And uh, what we will do is we will take a look at the scores. Four points to Gurukul. Eight points to the girls from Sacred Heart. It is still a long way to go in this quiz. So let's go across to the third and final member, the team captain of Gurukul. Arush, can you unmute and tell me your choice of topics from what is left on the grid? My choice is national currencies. National currencies from business and economics. First question to Arush is this. The basic currency units of the countries of Argentina, Mexico and Cuba all have the same name. What name are we looking for? So the answer is pesos. Can you spell it for me? P E S O. P E S O. Peso or peso will get you two points quickly, taking you back to the second of your questions on national currencies coming up on screen now. This monetary unit or currency is used in several Middle Eastern countries, including Algeria, Bahrain, Iraq, Jordan. Kuwait, Libya, and Tunisia. Which currency is this whose name sounds a little bit like one of the male meals that we have every day? So the correct answer is dinar. Dinar, because it sounds like dinner, is it? Now you're making me hungry. But before that, let's see the answer slide and see if we can give you points. It is indeed the dinar. Arish maximizes his national currencies. That's a quick four points to you and your school. Good going. Let us go and ask uh, the girl from Sacred Heart who is left is Ashita. Ashita, can you mute and choose any of the three remaining topics from the top of the grid? I'll choose health campaign. Health campaigns from the world of science. Ashita, two questions on health campaigns. The first of them is on your screen now. In the annual campaign known as Movember, launched in Australia in 2003 and now seen all over the world, men, only men, guys, are encouraged to grow what on their faces? The campaign aims to raise awareness about men's health issues. What is the answer we are looking for? Ashita. And the campaign is called Movember. It usually takes place in November. I'll pass. You will pass. All right. Anika, as team captain, who do you want to answer this question? Sir, I will answer. Yes, Anika. The men in the November annual campaign are encouraged to grow beards and moustaches on their face for suicide prevention and mental health. Lovely. What a beautifully detailed answer. It is indeed a moustache along with beard. And really, there is only so much uh, that a man can grow on his face. So moustache and beard was kind of the logical answer as well. That's one point to you. We will go back to your teammate Ashita, who will answer the next question on health campaigns coming up on screen now. Which activity or challenge that went viral on social media in 2017 was intended to promote awareness of the disease called amyotropic lateral sclerosis? or ALS, which is also known as Lou Gehrig's disease. The challenge involved pouring something over oneself, as you can see in the photo, and challenging your friends and family to do the same, all in the name of Lou Gehrig's disease awareness. Your time begins now. This is for Ashita Oni. This is Ice Oni. bucket. Yes, Ashita. Ice bucket. Ice bucket is correct. Very, very nice. You pick up two points. This is the ALS ice bucket challenge. Two points to you. That brings us to the end of all three choices from each of the two teams. But we will take a quick pause and give you the scores at the end of these six topics. Eight to Gurukul, 11 to Sacred Heart. Anybody's game from here because the distance has now been reduced. Team Gurukul, I now need you to make a choice and tell me quickly which topic do you want to play? So national anthems. National anthems. The first of your questions on national anthems is this. 
During the Bangladesh Liberation War of 1971, the first ten lines of the song "Amar Shonar Bangla" were adopted as the new country's national anthem. Who composed this song in 1905? And your time begins now. Ramnath Tagore. Ramnath Tagore is correct. Let's show you the answer uh, to your team attempt. Very very good going. Let us take you back to the second question on national anthems. To second question coming up on screen now. In 1984, Australia adopted a an anthem. an anthem called advance australia fair as the official national anthem replacing which anthem that was being used till then as a former colony of england your time begins now and your time is up uh, i need an answer quickly a uh, gurukul passing you in 3 Two and one. We will go across to Sacred Heart Convent School. Uh, Anika, quickly unmute and tell me which one of you, uh, as a team, what is it that you're going to answer? Sir, Ananya Gupta. All right, you can answer as a team, no problem. But Ananya, five seconds left. What is the answer we are looking for? God save the Queen. God save the Queen is correct. Very very nice. Uh, Australia as a former colony was still using God save the Queen. Uh, as their national anthem until very recently when they changed it to advance australia fair in the 1980s that brings us uh, to the end of the two questions on national anthems uh, for gurukul the last question left on the grid to be answered as a team i am reminding repeatedly to be answered as a team by sacred heart convent school is temples in india the first of your questions on temples in india is this which very famous temple complex in madhya pradesh which is also a unesco world heritage site houses temples called lakshman gandariya mahadev vishwanath parshvanath and duladev the name of the complex is derived from the sanskrit words for date palm and your time begins now you can discuss together on mic as a team What is the Sanskrit word for date palm? Last three seconds, and time is up. Sacred Heart Convent School. I need your answer now. Khajuraho. Khajuraho is correct because the Sanskrit yeah, word for date palm is khajur. The Khajuraho Temple Complex. We will quickly take you back to the second of your questions. Question number two on temples in India is this: In which Indian city located in Madhya Pradesh? would you find the impressive remains of an 11th century temple complex called the Saas Bahu temple the city is also famous as the seat of the Sindhya dynasty in the 18th century your okay. time begins now uh gwalior uh ananya is saying gwalior uh, the team captain is anika anika what is going to be your official answer as a team So Gwalior. You will go with Gwalior. Let's see if that is the right answer. It is Gwalior. You pick up another two points. The Sindhyas of a Gwalior and the Saas Bahu Temple, which sounds like a made-up name uh, from uh, from a soap opera on TV, but it is not. There is actually a Saas Bahu Temple in Gwalior, which is one of the main attractions in that city. Two points to you, which brings us to the end of all eight specialized topics on the grid. We will go on to the mystery boxes, but before that, it is my duty to tell you the scores. Ten points to Gurukul Global School from Chandigarh. At this stage, leading with sixteen points, six points clear of the boys are from Gurukul. Are the girls from Sacred Heart Convent School also from Chandigarh? They are on sixteen. So that is your score at the end of eight specialized topics. It is my pleasure to go back to Gurukul and ask them which of the two mystery boxes would you like to play as a team? Three questions, all on general knowledge, mixed bag from any topic and anything under the sun. So mystery box one. Mystery box one. All right. Question one from mystery box one. 
for Gurukul is this. What was the title given to the rulers of Calicut or Kohikode, which was once the most important trading center of southern India? One of these rulers was also the person who welcomed Vasco da Gama to India in 1498. And your time begins now. Sir, can you give the answer now? Yes, please give me the answer. The answer is King Zamorin. Zamorin is the title. Two points to you. This is indeed the Zamorins of Calicut. Good two points to begin an auspicious start. Let's take you back and show you the second question from your mystery box. The famous Academy Award nominated song, You've Got a Friend in Me, comes from the soundtrack of which 1995 animated film about a boy's playthings that come to life or have a secret life of their own. Your time begins now. Hands on screen, discuss on the mic. Sir, we have to give the name of the movie, right? Yes, that is correct. Sir, the answer is Toy Story. Toy Story it is. What is the more common word for plaything? This is Toy Story. 1995 brilliant movie i think even adults have loved to watch it not just children and of course it went on to have a huge hit series of movies called toy story 2 3 4 etc etc two points to you again team gurukul the last of your questions today's quiz mystery box number one question number three on your screen now which plant whose botanical name is Osimum tenuiflorum, widely cultivated for religious and traditional medicine purposes in India, is also called the holy basil in the West. It also happens to be a popular girl name in India. Arush, I suppose the answer is Tulsi. Sir, the answer would be Tulsi. The answer is Tulsi. All right, let's see the answer. It is indeed Tulsi. Very, very nice crunch answering by Bhavanj and his team captain went ahead with his confident sounding answer. Team Gurukul, you have made a very, very good end to your quiz today. All six points on offer have been snapped up and you have really laid down the gauntlet for the girls from Sacred Heart Convent School. Let us take you right away into the second mystery box. Three questions. 30 seconds per question. The first question on general knowledge, mystery box two, on your screen now. The six digit pin code, the six digit code called a pin was adopted by the Postal Services of India in 1972. What you have to tell me, what do the letters PIN stand for in pin code? Uh, sir. The answer is Postal Index Number. Let's see what the answer is before we can think of points. It is indeed the Postal Index Number, uh, which is the correct answer. And I used to be wrong when I was a child. And of course, when I grew up, I learned better. But these girls know better right from school itself. Two points to the girls from Sacred Heart Convent School on their first question. The second question for today, mystery box number two, is this. Takhat or Takht, Sri Harmandir Ji, which commemorates the birthplace of Guru Gobind Singh, the 10th Guru of the Six, is located in which Indian state capital which lies towards the east? Its more popular name is Takht Sri Blank Sahib, where the missing word is the name of that state capital. This state is bordered by Nepal to the north, West Bengal to the east, and Jharkhand to its south. Time begins now. What is the name of the state capital? Mm, I think it's Patna. Okay. Uh, Somebody has spoken up and discussion is going on. 15 seconds to go. Takshree Harmandir Ji is Golden Temple. All right. Time is up. As a team, Team Captain Anika, what is your official um, answer for this question? Uh, Patna. Patna. Uh, your teammates were saying Patna. You were thinking that uh, Takht Sri Harmandir Ji uh, is the golden temple which would have made it Amritsar. Uh, so let us see what the answer is before we can think of any points. It is Patna, your teammates were right. 
Tak Sri Harmandir Ji is not the golden temple. The Harmandir Sahib is the golden temple in Amritsar. And anyways, uh, Amritsar would not have been the right answer because it needs to be a state capital, right? And it is not a state capital. Good, you went along with uh, your teammates and listened to them. That gives you two points on your second question as well. Coming back to your mystery box, the last question of today, unless we have a tiebreaker, of course, for the girls from Sacred Heart Convent School, Chandigarh, question number three on your screen now. Which character created by the writer Washington Irving fell asleep in the Catskill Mountains and woke up only after 20 years to find that the world had changed. I need the name of the character. Your time starts now. I think we've read a story like this. Yes, yeah, we have. have read. Very Even popular story. What is the name of the character? All right, time is up. I need an answer now. What is the character called? All right. I cannot wait any longer. I will not give you points. Let's show you the answer. Rip Van Winkle is the name of the story as well as the main character, the title character in the story. So no points to anybody. I will pocket two points. Uh, that brings us to the end of what has been a fabulous quizzing experience today in the North Zone Knockout. Today, we had a battle royale between the three boys from Gurukul Global School in Chandigarh versus the three girls, uh, coincidentally, from Sacred Heart Convent School, also from Chandigarh. In the end, it was what we call a right down to the wire moment. The scores at the end of eight specialized topics and two mystery boxes are 16 points to the boys uh, from Gurukul Global School. Uh, Chandigarh. In any other knockout, this would have been a score good enough to win them the quiz. But not today, because today it is the girls from Sacred Heart Convent School, Chandigarh, who have picked the boys to the post. They have scored 20 points at the end of this quiz. <laughs> So for today, in the morning here, in the North Zone, this is me, Megasham Shirodkar, saying goodbye and God bless to both teams that took part in the knockout. We will be back with another exciting knockout just like this in the North Zone in the days to follow. But for now, this is me and my team signing off and saying goodbye, good afternoon and enjoy the rest of your weekend.